Welcome back to Lily's Farm and Firewood. Today I'm going to answer a question I get all the time and it's how did I start my firewood business and tips and tricks. So I started about 12 years ago. I bought my house and I have a wood burning stove in my house and I needed wood and I've always split wood when I live with my parents but I needed wood for my house. I wanted to lower my uh, gas bill, my heating bill, and burn lots of wood. Plus, you know, who, who doesn't love having a fire? So I bought a Troy built splitter and I split all my wood and I just kept going and going. And eventually I hurt my back. After I hurt my back, I thought splitting firewood was done for me. And then I found the uh, Wolf Ridge 28 Pro with a log lift. So that's my first tip. Try and get a log splitter with a log lift if you're gonna be splitting big wood. And I made a wood stand. I had four little $5 stacks and I had a little tiny box selling bundles of firewood. And that took off like crazy. And it felt like every month I was making my bins of firewood bigger, more money, bigger. And then I started selling eggs. If you're going to be picking up logs and wood and stuff like that and doing deliveries, you're going to need a dump trailer. This is my third dump trailer, but I didn't buy it for the firewood business because we already do landscaping. So this is another tip. If you're going to buy a dump trailer, try and buy the biggest dump trailer you possibly could buy with the most heavy duty axles you could possibly buy. You don't want a 7,000 pound dump trailer unless you're going to do tiny deliveries. Uh, the bigger the trailer, the better, because you're not going to outgrow it really quick. And that's just, in business, what I recommend. I ended up selling a 28 Pro. I loved the splitter, but I wanted something with auto cycle, and I wanted it to be a little bit faster. So I ended up buying a 35-ton SHO log splitter from Wolf Ridge, and this has a big Honda 20-horsepower motor, and the auto cycle and it also has more tons of splitting force. It can pretty much split anything, especially through the single knife. After hurting my back, splitting firewood, and I finally got a log splitter with a log lift, and then I got the SHO and it also has a log lift, I bought the MT100. This was a great buy because I also use this for my landscape job, and so I basically get to use it all year. If I just bought it for landscaping, landscaping seasonal, I wouldn't be able to use it all year. But during the winter time when we're splitting a lot of firewood, it's great to have this MT100. So I do recommend having a tractor or a skid steer or a mini skid steer or something of that sort. So basically everything I'm telling you is how I started my firewood business and how I did things. Um, obviously it took several years. It took 12 years to be where I'm at today. I then started getting these IBC totes. I basically use them as a big wheelbarrow. Um, these are used for mulch dye, and my friend dyes mulch, and he has a yard where he dyes the mulch, and he gives me all the IBC totes. I also dry most of my bundle wood in the IBC totes. All this over here, all this is ash, and then on this side is mostly oak. I later bought this skid steer splitter. I run this on the mini. It's been great. I got tired of ripping rounds with the chainsaw. I never enjoyed delivering firewood in bulk, especially cords. I didn't like traveling all over the place. And then eventually I got stores to sell bundles of firewood. So I bought this brute force wrapper and this thing works great. And I deliver a lot of bundles to the stores and it's just continuing every month. Uh, we fill, you know, how many everybody bundles they order and it works great. All my bags of firewood, I cut out the bottom of this garbage can here, and then I would fill up, uh, I would put the bag in here and fill this up with wood, and then pull this garbage can out, and that would be my bag of firewood. Wolf Ridge came out with this bagging station, made things 10 times easier. You could just fill this with the firewood for the bundles, and then you just flip it, and then you have this little uh, area here where you could tie the bag up, and then I keep all my bundle wood and an IBC tote, stacked in the garage so I can make bundles when it's raining. I then bought a 24 foot conveyor and I never realized how much I need a conveyor until I got the conveyor. Um, this gets the wood away from the splitter really quick. You can 
move this conveyor around and use it for a different splitter. You could load a trailer from uh, stacked firewood or whatever you need to do with this conveyor. Um, and I think having a conveyor is game changing. And then Wolf Ridge came out with this 17VS vertical splitter. I never realized how much I needed a vertical splitter and how much I love the vertical splitter until I tried it. This splitter is absolutely the best vertical splitter on the market. The log lift lifts up the logs and pushes them towards the knife where it splits the wood, not towards the middle, not towards you. So it's less chance of falling on you. And my last tip with firewood is if you don't enjoy splitting firewood and you don't have a passion for it, I don't think you should be in business doing it. It's not just a regular old job. You have to have passion doing it. It's not gonna make you rich by no means. I mean, I guess, you know, you could be rich if you're selling tons and tons and tons and tons of firewood, but um, it's more of a lot of guys do it for a hobby, extra money, stuff like that. Um, but I'm not getting rich off of firewood. I just absolutely love it. And it relieves stress from doing landscaping, relieves stress from dealing with customers. And that's why I don't like doing deliveries. I don't like to be on the road. I don't like dealing with customers and stuff like that. With the firewood stand, I just like to fill up the fire stand and keep splitting, enjoy my day. And we sell a lot of wood. We're up to 40 cords in uh, the firewood stand. And that doesn't include any of the bundles going to the stores. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, I try to make it interesting a little bit, but if you like this sort of thing, please like, uh, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one.